Welcome to The Speechy Show. Being a speech language pathologist often means having too much work and not enough planning time. To beat the overwhelm, we're bringing you the tricks and tools that will make your job a little bit easier. Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the first episode of The Speechy Show. This is my very first episode. I'm starting a brand new show. If you don't know me, I'm Carrie from speechandlanguagekids.com and I'm excited to have you here for my very first show of The Speechy Show. So today we're talking Halloween and I have got some great Halloween freebies for you because let's be honest, you don't have time to make a bunch of cutesy Halloween activities this week. So I'm gonna share with you my very my top five favorite ones from Teachers Pay Teachers. I dug through all the Halloween freebies and I picked the ones that I think you'll like the best. So I'm gonna show you those today, but before we do, I kinda of wanna tell you a little bit about the Speechy Show. So this show is going to be a weekly show and most of the time I'm going to have a guest on with me. So I'll be doing interviews with other speech, ther speech language pathologists and I am myself a speech language pathologist if you don't know, so Hi, my husband just joined. Hey, Tom. <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing um, interviews with other speech therapists on this show, giving you lots of really good information and resources to help you out and make your job as a speech language pathologist just a little bit easier. So that's the plan. But let's go ahead and jump to today. We're going to be talking about some freebies that you can print off from Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you're not familiar with Teachers Pay Teachers, it is a website where teachers or speech language pathologists can go on and create materials and share those with other therapists. There's a ton of free stuff on there or there's stuff that you can pay a little bit of money for as well. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my top five freebies for Halloween. So the first one I wanna share with you is Spooky Speech and that is this one. I think these are gonna be backwards and I'm sorry. I couldn't figure out how to turn the camera around. We're working on the technical side but I wanted to bring you some stuff. So this is Spooky Speech, Spooky Articulation Word Lists and Art Activities from Sublime Speech. So if you are looking for this one, just go on over to teacherspayteachers.com and search for the title, or you can go to speechandlanguagekids.com and find the blog post for this recording that we're doing, and I'll have all the links for you there as well. So this one is super cute. She has word lists, for the different sounds. So this is the R word list. There's S and Z, L, S, H, C, H, and J, F and V, T and D. Like I said, she's got a ton. There's K and G also. And then there's these fun little activities. So this is a spooky speech spell. So you can have them use the word list to write a spell or you can do this kind of uh, Mad Libs, kind of fill in the blank kind of thing. So you can have them put their words in there and then it will spell out a potion recipe. So that one's fun. There's a place where they can draw a scene using their words. There's a bingo board. And that's what she's got. So it's a really good one. I really like this one a lot. It's got a lot of really good stuff in there for working on your articulation words. So again, this is Spooky Speech. Spooky Articulation Word Lists and Activities by Sublime Speech. Definitely a good one. Okay, so next we have Halloween Idioms and Phrases. And this one is by Jenna Rayburn from Speech Room News. If you have not heard of her, definitely check her out. She's got a ton of good stuff. So this is Halloween Idioms. You've got these cards here. And each card has different phrases or idioms on them. So for example, this one is witch hunt, witching hour, skeleton in the cupboard, a ghost town, skeleton staff, chill the blood. So it's just some fun little spooky phrases and idioms that you can uh, print out and try with your kids and see if they know what they mean. So it's really good for working on figurative language. And these are just flashcards that you could print out. You could laminate them if you want. Or if you're in a hurry, just print them out and go. So that's good too. All right. Next we have Halloween main idea and details. You'll have to apologize my printer. It was starting to go on this one. <laughs> so this is from Just Speechy SLP. And this one 
Let me get to a content page here. First of all, she has this really handy page that talks about main idea and details and kind of gives you an explanation of what they all are. So you can use this for, with your, your students for a visual. And then you have these cards that have these stories on them. There's two right there. And it's just a very simple little story, but it gives you something to work on main idea from. So let me show you. She's got quite a few of them in here. They're all Halloween themed. So you read a little Halloween themed story or passage, and then you talk about what the main idea of the story was. Like I said, there's a bunch. And then she also has this super cute little board game. So if you wanted to make this into, here we go, like this. If you wanted to make this into a board game and have them practice one for each pumpkin that they land on and roll a dice, you can definitely do it that way as well. Maybe it goes like this. There we go. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. The next one is Halloween Sentence Comprehension. And this one is from Speech Time Fun. So let's check it out. Okay, I think this one has, there we go. Okay, so you read a simple sentence and then you ask a question. So this is great for your children who are working on WH questions. So Mary got a chocolate bar when she went trick or treating. What did Mary get? So they have to be listening for the WH word. So they have to know if it was what, who, where, when, and then they answer the question. Really simple, but great for those students that are working on listening comprehension, or answering WH questions. You could also throw in your own yes, no, and other WH questions if you have, if you would like to get more use out of this, as opposed to just using the questions that she has. But you can see there's a ton of cards, and she has instructions for how to turn this into a little game as well. You can see there's these little bonus turn cards as well. So that gets, you can use that for the game part of it. So yeah, that one's a fun one too. All right, last of my five freebies, and then hang tight if you're watching live. I am going to be giving away two months in free in my membership site, so definitely stay on the line live. If so, if you are in here already, and you can get access, or you can get a chance to win the two months in my membership. Okay, this is Halloween exit slips. So this is an articulation, language, and social skills activity. Now this was something that I had not seen before, but let me show you, sorry, I should tell you, this is Creative Speech Lab who made this one. Okay, so on this page, and again, sorry for the printer, but you can see she has these jars full of exit slips depending on what the student is working on. So there's one for social skills, one for articulation, language, end of the year, spring, winter, fall. So she's got a whole bunch of different ones here, and this is her Halloween one. So, let me just show you. So each page has a whole bunch of these little slips and they say something like, name two Halloween words that contain your speech sound. Or name a top type of chocolate that contains your speech sound. So this page is all articulation. There's a page full of language ones. Fix the grammar in this sentence, I eat a Halloween candy. There's social skills. Is it safe to trick or treat alone? Why or why not? And that's the ones she has for this set. So basically you're gonna print those out, put them in a jar or a cup or something and have the students pull one out before they leave therapy. And then you have them do that as an exit activity. So it's something to just kind of wrap up your, your session and uh, there you go. So that is Creative Speech Lab, the exit, Halloween exit slips. So that's what I have for you today. Um, in the future episodes, I will also be sharing my favorite resource or having the guest share a favorite resource. But since I just shared five resources, we're going to go with that. <laughs> Those are our resources for today. So the last thing that we're going to do today, and we're going to do this every week, is a giveaway. So for those of you who are watching on here live, I'm going to give away one, no, two <laughs> free months in my membership program. My membership program is called the Speech Therapy Solution. And if you're not familiar with this, it is a membership part of my website that's just for paying members. You get access to a materials library, which is over 100 different worksheets that you can just print and go in therapy. 
There's also a video library full of training videos on over 300 different topics. You also get a monthly webinar and you get to ask me questions on a weekly Q&A and in Facebook. So it's definitely a helpful resource for speech language pathologists. So if you would like to get two free months in there right now, you have to answer this question. All right, so preface this giveaway, hang tight with me. So my husband is from St. Louis and apparently in St. Louis, when you go trick or treating, you have to tell a joke or do a trick to get your candy. Okay, if anyone else in here has heard of this before, please type in and tell me because I'm pretty sure St. Louis is the only place in the world that does this. I could be wrong though, so let me know if you've heard of this. So when my husband and I first started accepting trick-or-treaters, we had this dilemma of like, are we going to make them answer or tell a joke or do a trick? Because we're not in St. Louis, so none of the kids around here know what to do. So I did a little coaching the first year. So when the kids came, I'd say, you have to do a trick. You can jump up and down or stand on one foot. So I was trying to help them out. But anyway, in light of that, we're going to do a joke for this giveaway. So if you're listening, you get two free months in the membership, the first person to answer this joke. You ready? What do you call a witch that lives at the beach? Okay, if you know the answer, type it in. The first person to type it in is going to get a free two free months in my membership program, the coaching program for speech language pathologists. What do you call a witch that lives at the beach? All right, we don't have many people on here live. <laughs> This is the first time we're doing this, so not a lot of people knew what was going on. Here we go. We got one. Sandwich. Nice job, Rebecca. All right, Rebecca, you get two free months in my membership program, so all you need to do is email me, and we'll get that set up. So you can email me at carrie at speechandlanguagekids.com. C-A-R-R-I-E at speechandlanguagekids.com. Okay. If you are interested in that membership program and you did not win today, you can always check out the details over at speechandlanguagekids.com slash join, and that will give you all the information about my membership. We would love to see you over there and hope you could join us. Um, but thank you guys today for hanging out with us. I hope those Halloween activities were helpful for you. And I will be on next week. I believe next week is Christine Restuccia from Say It Right with the R sound. So we're going to be talking about R next week. So if you need some help with R, tune back in next Monday afternoon and we will be sharing all kinds of goodies. Plus, uh, Christine's going to do a giveaway and I'm going to give another two months away in the membership. So you definitely want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us today on The Speechy Show. We hope today's tips have helped you feel a little less stressed and a little more confident about your work. If you're looking for more stress busters and confidence boosters, we'd love to have you join us in The Speech Therapy Solution, where you'll get access to a huge library of premium training videos and another library of print-and-go therapy materials. You can also get help with your tough cases by joining Carrie on the weekly Q&A calls or by posting in the exclusive Facebook group. Plus, group members can join us for a monthly webinar that can be used for continuing education credit. Head on over to speechandlanguagekids.com slash join to check out all the amazing benefits of the Speech Therapy Solution membership. Bye for now.